This episode is brought to you by Cube Gallery. Cube Gallery is a progressive art space in Cebu, Philippines, providing network and exhibit opportunities for contemporary artists with whom they work closely with and promote beyond the local reach. Aside from its physical space in Crossroads, Manila, Cebu City, you can check out their online collection on artsy.net slash cube dash gallery. This month at Cube Gallery, Countercurrent by G.I. Pongase and Unchained Melody by Tom Hopson. Two of Cebu's young and upcoming artists, G.I. and Tom, will have their back-to-back shows at Cube Gallery. G.I. Pongase expands the range of his expressionist visual language with a series titled Countercurrent. In addition to texture and surface engagements, Pongase incorporates gestural lines, figurative drawings, and other graphic elements to complement the rough, vulnerable, and potent visual feel that he explores with much empathy and restraint. Tom Hopson, who I interviewed in this episode, shows off his fantasy and surreal inclinations in his latest exhibition, Unchained Melody. Luxuriant characters and ornate sceneries complement the peculiar stories told by each piece. Thom is a clever and dexterous storyteller with his art expounding on the sensational lines of magic, realism, and fantasy. Catch Countercurrent and Unchained Melody at Cube Gallery from October 31 to November 16, 2019. This episode is also sponsored by A-Space. A few years ago, I used to work a little bit in A-Space. Uh, eventually, I got a small office for myself. When I didn't have that office, A-Space turned out to be a really good place for me to do work. One of the biggest benefits of working in a co-working space is meeting all the interesting people who also happen to be working there. So it was fun because sometimes after a work day, they... A space would be setting up an event, then all of a sudden you'd have a group of musicians or programmers or graphic artists or cross stitchers come in, and uh, you get to meet all of these people. It was a really fun time for me to work. So A space is located at the Creative Boutique Hub of Crossroads in Cebu City. They're in Crossroads, Governor M Cuenco Avenue, Cebu City. You can call them at zero three two eight 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 seven six five six. And uh, you can go to the website aspace.work or f- their social media channels, aspace.ph on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, it's a really cool co-working space in the middle of the city. Do it. Go there. Okay, let's get to the show. Welcome to 032 Conversations, the podcast where we talk to creatives, see how they live, and how they do their work. I'm your host, Carlo Villarica. How was your long weekend? I think, uh, I'm guessing a lot of people went to the beach, up in the mountain, all sorts of things. I and the family, we stayed in the city, stayed home, but wow, it was a beautiful weekend. I, we literally didn't do anything. It was wonderful. I mean, we did a bunch of stuff. It was, but nothing work related. It was a real vacation. So we spent a lot of time, we spent a lot of time with the kid. We did Halloween. Halloween is always fun. I think it's, it used to be my favorite holiday. And I think it's also my kid's favorite holiday now. We went to like, uh, Paradise Village, it's a famed uh, place to go trick-or-treating. It's the best. We also visited the cemetery, of course, and then had a couple of lunches and dinners with the extended family, my, my lola, my titas. Uh, and, of course, I snuck in a few bike rides. In fact, like on Saturday, it was like I was out the whole morning. I got back at 12 noon. It was wonderful. And and on top of that, I got to watch Wolf of Wall Street on Netflix. See? That was like a full-on vacation. Of course, I watched the movie while the kids were sleeping because, after, you know, it's, it's so not suitable for children. It, like, it, yeah, there was so much swearing, drugs, and a lot of sex. It was ridiculous. Anyway, great movie. I had the best weekend it was so good it was a good weekend for me and the wife it was just it was a really great opportunity to unwind simple as that so good how'd you how'd you guys do what'd you guys do what'd you guys do come on i'll wait i'll tell me come on just uh 
Great. Sounds great. Yeah. Sounds like you had a good weekend too. If you visit the assembly online, that's assembly.032.com. We have new shirts up. One of them's called Jailed Heart, and the other one is in the heart of the city. New shirts. I'm enjoying them. I'm going to be rocking them a lot in the next few days. Every time we have a new shirt, I basically just give myself one. It's good. But if you want to get one yourself, head over to assembly.032.com and use the promo code CONVERSATIONS for 20% off. That's CONVERSATIONS with an S. And uh, yeah, and uh, that helps support the show. I'm going to put a link in the show notes description too if you want to head over there. But yeah, do that. And uh, yeah, use the promo code. Conversations, 20% off. In this episode, we talked to Tom Hopson or Jopson, however you want to pronounce it. He's a painter. He usually paints, uh, his words were fantasy and surreal artworks. He's a full-time artist. I think he was one of the earlier Cube Gallery artists, like back in their first location in the Henry. And for this interview, but well, I had the opportunity. I had the opportunity to look at the work, and I, you know, chatted with him before the actual interview. So it was fun because we found out that we have a mutual friend, Kenichi Wani, and I grew up with with Kenichi. Uh, when I say I grew up with Kenichi, we spent a lot of time. Bas- basically, when he was when we were around each other, we were just drinking, you know, nagtagay me. And Tom is really good friends with him, and they talk about art a lot. So. When in this interview with Tom, he mentions Kenichi quite a bit, and even and Kenichi even shows up in Tom's artwork. So it was really fun. I really dug this interview because Tom comes off as, uh, in my mind, he comes off re- incredibly honest. Because, you know, he talked about like his how, how how it was sometimes a struggle just to do work, and uh, the struggle being you know managing his life as an artist. But at the same time, we talked a lot about how his artwork is conceptualized and how difficult it is for him because what inspires him to do the artwork, like basically where his ideas come from, where the energy for his artwork comes from, it's also the same thing that takes him away from doing the artwork. Uh, You'll you'll get you'll you'll understand once you listen to the episode. So it's a good one. it's it's like an introvert extrovert thing. Like he's a he's an extrovert, so he gets energy being extroverted. But in order to do the actual work of creating art, he needs to be introverted, introverted, and and stay inside his like room. And he struggles with that. We talk about it. And uh, if this isn't your first time to listen to zero three two conversations, and if you like what we are doing. And if you are also, there's a lot of ifs in this in this one sentence. And if there, and if you also happen to be listening to it on your iPhone, then you're probably listening to the iPhone podcast app. Kindly leave us a review, a five star rating if you like what we do. Uh, that tells iTunes, that tells Apple that uh, you like the podcast, and hopefully in the future iTunes will recommend or Apple will recommend the podcast to their listeners and uh, we can get more listeners and we can do this show even more. But if this is your first time to listen to 032 Conversations, please subscribe. We have a new episode every Tuesday where we talk to another interesting creative. Okay, let's get to this interview with an interesting creative, Tom Hopson. No, because everybody's been saying Jobson, so I just like went with it na lang na Jobson. Because everybody's like Jobson, okay, okay. No, it's too kapoy to actually explain. Is it Hobson? It it's supposed to be Hobson because like my dad's saying we're you know we live in a country where it's Spanish and then J is actually H and then but my cousins sometimes say Jobson and then everybody says Jobson so say hey, I'm just gonna go with it na lang. so <laughs> so yeah. you give in to what everybody else yeah, said. <laughs> yeah, yeah my only my only thing I want to focus on is art okay if you get my name wrong it's fine <laughs> it's still the same spelling so it's okay so you grew up in Tacloban. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Tacloban. And then before that, like, uh, my dad and mom were in, in General Santos. And then my mom felt homesick. So, uh, she, 
my dad had no choice to go back and then he had to go to Tacloban because that's where my mom's from. Uh, she's originally from Iloilo, but uh, during that like Marcos time, like my my granddad's a judge man, so they needed judges somewhere in Tacloban, I think. So they moved from Iloilo to Tacloban. So yeah, from Jensan we moved to Tacloban because my mom, my mom, my mom wanted to be close to her family there, her dad, her sister. So we moved there, and then when I was four, then ever since I yeah grew up in Tacloban high school and everything. And then you came here to Cebu for like college. For college, yeah. So when you were in Tacloban, is that where you started, like making art? Yeah, I. My mom said not necessarily started making art, and because my mom said I don't know, it's based on her word on her word alone. Uh, when I was two, I started drawing like scribbles of bears and owls. At two? At two. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is true, but my mom said, I, I'm not saying like ego or anything, but it's just what my mom said. And I, basi- I basically started drawing bears and owls. Yeah, because I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. Yeah. They don't draw anything. Like yeah. my my son right now... Can barely draw letters, like barely. Okay. okay. Like, li- like that's his first yeah thing. And if you just leave, leave like a blank piece of paper, yeah. it's just uh, it's just all over. Yeah. Really, so your mom said two years old. But yeah. you know, like when did you? What What do you remember? Uh, I remember the first thing I remember. The very first thing I remember. I can sure. I can still remember. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's weird, but uh, various two things, two things. Like first thing is just all red. Just red, just color red. The second thing is Garfield. Oh yeah, yeah, like a stuffed toy Garfield. I entered a white room, and there was a star, uh, a Garfield in front of the room. I just picked it up, and my mom and my my aunt were talking. That's it. That's my very first memory of everything. Oh, I meant art. I thought oh, art. With art with art in terms of art. That's weird like, that you remember your very. I do. First I know. Thing, I know. I like the very first thing. That's 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 what stuck. I don't know. Maybe I was five, so it's a bit older. Or yeah, but that's the very first thing I remember. In terms of art, I. I yeah, I kept drawing a lot. I actually have the drawings because my mom is, uh, she has this, she actually keep, kept them and made them into a book. So I, I, rem- I, I, uh, I don't remember, but I remember drawing really young and then like I drew Batman, Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, and I just put them all together <laughs> fighting each other or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 I've been drawing since, yeah, uh, because I don't go out that much. Like maybe it's because my mom was concerned or something, or my dad didn't want me to socialize when I was younger. But yeah, I I, I was a loner when I was young, and I just end up drawing, sketching at home. I didn't go out. Yeah, I didn't which, go out. Which much. is a stark contrast to to now. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, it is because I I really like going out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we talked earlier. Yeah, and then like we have a mutual friend, see Kenichi. Kenichi. And yeah. then, Right away, I was like, "Oh, I remember Kenichi. We used to go drinking a lot." And yeah. then, and then you were like, "Yeah, we still do that." <laughs> yeah, we still do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Mm. And then, so that's in. So that was in Tacloban. Dude, wait, so you grew up in Tacloban. Yeah. And I've never been to Tacloban. And uh, you just came from there, right? Yeah, I just came from there. Like, did you move back there, or? Uh, currently, yeah, I did for a bit, just to. Just I can focus, just so I can focus on painting for the show, because I really like going out, and Cebu has a lot of options of going out. So I I, I decided for this show because I had little time, uh, not so much concepts. So I start to like have this like solo journey. <laughs> so I I went to Tacloban, tried to figure things out, and then you know paint just for the show. So it's 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 good because like I I realized certain things which I never did, and then maybe like some of my works have have that feeling of being more being more being more calm calm like i'm more confident what i'm doing without the distractions of cebu so it was good it was a good experience to actually go yeah and also like uh in a way it's like forced yeah so what is it, what's the term there like in prison when you get yeah solidary yeah yeah confinement? solidary confinement yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's kind of like that but sometimes like there's certain things that 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 just needs to be forced to actually come up with something new i mean a lot of people saying you don't force it or you yeah, but yeah with art it it sometimes you really need to force it as a discipline and then as to so you could focus because i'm treating it now more like work like people say that 
you're supposed to be, you know, paint what you feel and all that, which I still do, which I still do. But if you're really, I have to be realistic na if I want to still keep doing what I want to do, I still need to be realistic enough to know that I need to earn money from that. So it's a balance of doing what I want to do, but at the same time making it a discipline that even though I don't feel like painting, I have to. So at least I'll be stable enough to keep doing what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the, you know, that's actually, I feel like that's a normal thing that a lot of creative people yeah, yeah, yeah. have to go through. Like I find for at least for myself, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making art or yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. but like I find that even just trying to work, because I can work anywhere, yeah. like I just need a computer. Yeah. And I find that I just need to go to a, quote unquote office and sometimes the quote yeah. unquote office is this very specific table yeah. in my house yeah. <laughs> you know yeah yeah and that just gets me to work yeah uh, I think and then uh, because there's this like myth where you know if you can like work for yourself and that's essentially what an artist yeah. is right like they're able to do things on their yeah. own time yeah but that myth is like Oh, wake it's up in bed. And yeah, then, it's a myth. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, then you start a, making, yeah. you start doing your work, and yeah. then it, it it doesn't come as easy as that. Yeah, it. I I don't know. I I some people might disagree, but it comes off sometimes if you're just doing what you feel like doing. It becomes a hobby, just a hobby, I guess. Because like you have to be still, you know, you, you still need to eat. You still need to eat. So if you just want to paint for paint's sake, then it just becomes a hobby, I guess. Sometimes I know I might be insulting people here, but for me, oh, for yeah, me yeah, personally, yeah. but yeah. No, but, I feel like you have to kind of treat it sort of like a job. Yeah, yeah. You have to wake up at a certain time. Right? It's up to you, but you still have to wake up and do the work, regardless of what you feel. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've talked to a few artists, and then uh, like uh, like Leandro, we just saw him, yeah. and then he's like he he knows that he works like super late. At yeah, night, yeah. You know, and he that's his. That's, That's his, his routine. routine. Yeah, 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 you know, and then and then one. It sounds like, but did you just recently discover this? In a way, because uh, I'm I'm I am impulsive in a sense, and then I grew up in a generation where they still think like some of my friends uh, in Tacloban. Some some people think that like you know you just do what you want, you just you know enjoy, copy what you want, and and I had this. Uh, discussion one time uh, with an older person uh, he was saying that you know you should art shouldn't be treated uh, like work art should be like your emotions and all that and then uh, was this I'm, older person an artist he was an artist so and i i actually wanted to saying it's a balance it's a balance between your emotions and being being responsible at the same time and being yes stable but i <laughs> Uh, I was I wasn't able to clarify that because he was talking more. So I was just like, okay, respect, respect, respect. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I I I know art is different now, and a lot of people are being more more open, responsible, and more mature about it. But it's just that I'm still within that. I grew up in that generation where it's still not clear. So how how people should view art or how artists should do their work or yeah. I think I suspect that like. We uh, were more, we're almost the same age, I suspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, you're right, Namurag. People who used to do art, it was this big mystery. Yeah, yeah. No? yeah. And then now, I mean, now with like podcasts yeah. and, and yeah. all these things, you can listen to your favorite yeah. artist and yeah. just get a sense of how they do their work. Yeah. Uh, and then, but like back then, you know, there was yeah, nothing. You nothing. saw the work. Yeah. And then you were like, "How did they come up with this thing?" Yeah, and uh, that's it. You had no yeah. idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, aside from that, because like what me and Ken used to discuss. I mean, we're still discussing now. Like uh, something that I don't know with other schools, but when when me and Ken were studying art, we felt there was a lack. We realized later on that there was a lack of 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 the lessons in like art management or like how how to sell your work how to and uh, cuz uh like yeah going back to that guy who was saying art for art's sake uh i don't know why it's, it's like that but but uh yeah we feel that there was a lack of how to actually sell the art i mean not in the sense that it's just purely business but how to just be stable in general 
So yeah, I'm I'm coming from the the way I'm talking now is coming from that thing where we didn't have that growing uh, like learning in art. We just learned about the basics and all, which is important. And I feel like we still need to learn more about the basics in art. But but yeah, we we I feel that we lack that. Uh, me and yeah, we were discussing that art econ economics. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Man- art management. How to how to Be- well yeah, because yeah. you're because I think what you're trying to say is like. May, like so you're a full time artist. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. a full time artist. Part of being a full time artist is not just making the art. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's the commerce part yeah. of it. Yeah, and I just realized that now because I'm doing it now, but I'm 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 actually hope I I realize that if I learned all this before I actually got become a full time artist, it would have been better. Would have it, would have, easier, it, it would have been yeah. easier in the sense that I could at least already have the tools because what I had before was just basics. Basics, how to paint, how to do this, uh, how to copy this and that. But in terms of like managing myself, which is really difficult because I'm, I'm impulsive in the sense. But uh, yeah, it's just recently that I'm learning how to be more responsible and how to be more, you know, like uh, more... S- stable in the process of making my my artwork how long have you been uh a full-time artist uh full-time artist it it's it's in and out because uh sometimes when i haven't been painting because uh because of a lot of reasons i i used to teach english so sometimes i Get a side job, teach English, and then go back to art. So it it, it it's a mix. Uh, but in terms of painting, just painting professionally, uh, five or six years. Five or like six ever years. since I I did my thesis for my work and my first my very first solo show, 2015 for my thesis, which I was at Cube when Cube was still at the Henry. The Henry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah when yeah, Cube was right. still at the Henry Hotel. Uh yeah, uh that was my very first show and ever since that I've been doing shows and if there wasn't a show I did a bit of work here and there just to earn a bit of money and yeah, but now I'm really full time full time painting for two years, I guess. Yeah, two years at least two yeah, years. Yeah, because so you were like you were painting like five, six years ago. Yeah. Uh and then when did you realize Namurag? You know, you kind of had to manage yourself. Like when I say manage yourself, like, oh, I, uh, I might, I might be if I stay in Cebu, I'm just yeah. gonna go out a lot and yeah, yeah, yeah. not be able to work. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. when I when you say work, like, you know, paint, make yeah, your yeah. art, right? When did you realize that? I I realized that when I I realized that when I didn't have money (laughs) to just actually simply have breakfast or something. Yeah, I realized that when I, when I, uh, yeah. How many years ago was that? uh, uh, Two or three, two or three years ago. Like, yeah, two or three years ago. Yeah, because uh, like the thing with, with, uh, with, with art is like, let's say you do really well in a show. I'm going to assume certain things. Let's say you do really well in a show. You sell out all of your paintings. And then, so you get this like lump sum yeah, yeah, of cash. Yeah. And but the the reality is that doesn't last forever. That doesn't last forever. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. It looks like a good number. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then you gotta start thinking about like the next show. <laughs> yeah. No, I I've been lucky that I have friends and family that I can like depend upon but yeah i realize that it's it's looking ugly now that i'm getting i'm gonna be 30 next year and i don't have a bank account so yeah and i realize like my ken's been pushing me like tom you can paint okay you can see if you paint people buy so why just don't why don't you just uh just keep on painting and then and i just realized like regardless of all the stuff that's going on in my head that i just simply need to paint like i, do, I don't need to focus on uh, what do i paint on i just start and then and then start from there and then see where it goes yeah as long as i'm painting it's fine everything's fine yeah i think ganichi is right man yeah, like, yeah i've yeah. seen like okay we were just in cube earlier yeah. we were looking at your work yeah and, 
I I I really like it. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, I I I suspect it's gonna do quite well. Thank you. you know? so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know right away? Like even before the show, like sometimes they sell stuff before the show. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, like there's certain. I mean, like with artworks. Or, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's certain works that I feel like are really good. Like I'm surprised because uh, Ken's been joking about this. Like, do you know why the reason why you're surprised about your artwork? Because you don't paint a lot. <laughs> like you don't paint. <laughs> A lot. It's like, oh, bye. This is, looks really good. It's like, yeah, dude, you just keep painting. You're gonna see that a lot. Like, yeah, yeah. Because you so, know, <laughs> that, that's a good. Friend. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're yeah. like, like yeah. frank to your face. <laughs> yeah, frank to your face. Yeah. So yeah, I, I just realized, and I, I, it's funny that that happened. So now, now I'm really pushing. Like before, I get turn thirty next year. Like I'm really gonna. Keep turning out paintings, turning out paintings, turning out paintings. So at least uh, I'm more, more, you know, stable in the sense that I, I keep painting. And yeah, most of the great artworks are not necessarily about talent. It's just about, you know, uh, the discipline in every day trying to make works. That's, that's it. And then it, it took me a while to realize that because one thing, guy, <laughs> I, uh, I, my head's really like, yeah, I have a hard head. And then, and sometimes I'm just impulsive, but yeah, I'm tr- I'm learning to be more s- more stable for the lack of better. I know there's a better term for it, but yeah, more stable about the way I work. When you say like impulsive, what do you mean by impulsive? Like impulsive in a sense, nga, like all of us, like impulsive in a sense, nga, Marag, you don't do the work, na noon. like. Uh, like impulsive if somebody's in the sense, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah kind of like that. Like I just like want to enjoy a lot sometimes and then like uh i when i get stressed i easily like uh buy stuff like i i'm not materialistic but when it terms to like the one thing i really like is lego yeah, <laughs> it's, like, yeah, yeah. Your it's like awesome i saw like yeah, yeah. so many pictures yeah. of like lego and like, then, uh, i was looking at sorry i'm sorry yeah I'm it's, it's fine it's bit. fine but yeah i was yeah. looking at your instagram yeah. and my kid walks in yeah and then he just saw Lego. Yeah. It's like, hey, Lego. And then, like, we're all looking. I think you, there's one of, like, uh, uh, Boba Fett. Yeah. Think you, did you draw that? I drew that. Because, like, it's hard to get, like, actual Boba Fett here in, in Cebu. And then if it if I did get it, it's really expensive. So I just bought the really cheap kind. And if it's a different color, I just repainted it, sanded it, repainted it, and all, yeah, all that. It's Boba Fett, uh, um, the Dark Lord, what the, Star uh, Wars. Yeah, uh, Darth Vader. No, 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 like the one, the high mass. What do you call him? I don't know his name. A good, you know, the guy that's really old and yeah. With with the ah uh, the the recent one that ah uh, no no uh, no but there was one like uh, it was a it was a it was a Lego figure and he had like a dark cape. I just assumed it was Star Wars. Yeah. Actually, you know, like the head of like Darth Vader's boss. Whatever ah, that guy's ah, name is. Ah, uh, uh, I forgot his name. Okay, all the Star Wars fans are gonna like <laughs> you. You are <laughs> screwing this up. Uh, uh, Palpatine, I think. Well, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Did then, you have a Lego, or maybe I'm, 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 I totally missed that. No, one. no, no. I had a, a few Star Wars stuff, but the reason why I didn't like keep maintain it because like it's very specific, and then if I can't do the specific Star Wars, I uh, just don't do it. But with the stuff that I have, I, I mostly have DC because mm. I'm focusing on DC. So I have like Batman, but I change it up a bit, like add more gear. Like when I, when I make a Joker character, I have a specific look and then it's, it's not necessarily based on a, a movie, but I have a specific look for it. Cause like, uh, I like characters in general, like archetypes. I like, uh, the Dark Knight archetype. I like the hero archetype. I like the villain archetype. So I like the, those little archetypes. It even helps with the painting sometimes. And I like, like certain individuals with personalities and Lego is able, to, is is helping me do that like uh, unfortunately lego is quite expensive yeah yeah so <laughs> I, I know yeah so i just actually do buy the bootleg ones oh yeah and then, then I, I i customize them the way i want them to be so i just buy which i i, I buy parts that from this and i buy part from that and i combine them and make something new and then yeah it's it's lingo that's that, that's my hobby that's, that's what i enjoy doing it's not work but i just enjoy doing it but the, the funny thing with like your work so we were as yeah. i mentioned we were in cuba and you know, we're looking at some of the paintings yeah. and there were a lot of paintings that that you painted that was because you like like you were telling me oh this is when uh 
when I was in Tacloban and yeah. then I went out. Yeah. This was a bar. Yeah. And then it was really cool because you had a story for every almost every painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there were a couple of paintings where you guys were sitting around drinking. Like yeah, basically yeah. it was laag. Yeah, yeah, it was just laag. It was just laag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no? And then <laughs> kind of, it it's you're at the strange like you're in the strange place, Bangamurag. It's this thing that's also distracting you from work, but you're getting a lot yeah, of content. Yeah, yeah, getting a lot of inspiration, content, inspiration it, yeah. for that. Uh, it's it's a balance, I, which I'm still trying to learn. It's like the it. I really started doing fantasy works when what I told you, Kanina, with the with when I went out drinking. I used to draw people. Like their ideas, their thoughts, their jokes, and all that. Like one friend would joke about Batman, so when I drew them while they were drinking, I drew him as as Batman. And then they talk about politics, and I don't really understand fully <laughs> politics, but I just draw like whatever whatever I understand, and I just drew that. And then Lingao Mansilla, they they found it fun, so I ended up tra- putting that with the painting. So now it's it's uh, I'm trying to look for a balance that. Yes, I do get inspired with drinking and then and I paint after the the scene that I really like. But in the yeah, balance in the sense that after that I need to go back to work and and paint that. But but yeah, it's 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 just goes down to balance, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. But lingao sha, lingao sha. Like I get a lot of ideas when when I'm out with friends. So yeah. I think so. Like I uh I think what because there, there's you so like it it sounds like right now. Yeah. That you you were you were in this trap before, yeah, of being yeah, yeah. impulsive in a sense yeah. that you weren't doing the work, na kaya. Yeah. But there's there's another version of that trap where all you're doing is staying inside, yeah, trying to yeah, work. yeah, yeah, trying to work. But then what happens is you don't have, you know. Life experience yeah, is the yeah. one that that yeah the, that comes out in the work, and if you don't work. have life experience, yeah. Then, yeah, then... I I I forgot who pointed that out. I'm really sorry for the friend who pointed that out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm treating it as a diary basically. So uh, there's certain things like I I think about while experiencing a certain event or experiencing a conversation with a person that just needs to be out visualized. That just needs to be visualized, and that's. It 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 helps when I paint because it it de-stresses me, and in the sense that I really have like it's kind of like I have this thing where I'm still a kid. Like I see something really awesome, and I tell my mom about it. Like mom, 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 I saw I saw an ant fly today. It's like whatever random stuff, and then uh, I I I still have that. That's one of the reasons why people say I'm still immature. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I still have that. Uh, I what's that word like? Uh, like when you're amazed about something, childlike wonder. Childlike wonder. Okay, childlike wonder curiosity. and then curiosity. And I try to paint that, and I try to paint that, and then yeah, and then so far people have been giving me good good reviews, comments about it. So uh, we'll see how far that's gonna go. But yeah. Life, life. I, I try to paint. And people say it's too broad. Like you should focus on one thing. And so I'm, I'm. So it's a balance now. I'm, I'm trying to focus on certain topics, but at the same time, like still have that ex- life experience. I wanna. I see something different. And I try to paint it. So yeah. Mm. What do you mean too broad? What do you mean people? No, because like, uh, like. W- Ever since my first show, uh, people ask me what my concept is. I, I keep telling them life. <laughs> and oh, then, okay. And then, and then uh, friends will be like, no, oh, you can't do that. I mean, yeah, obviously, people, yeah. But yeah, yeah. but uh, it's just uh, by accident now that because uh, I sometimes listen to songs a lot. I'm not a song expert or what, whatever you call that but I, I do like listening to songs and there's certain songs that really speak to me and it's just uh, by accident that I thought of like oh why don't I just make the whole show about certain songs that I like and then paint that so each each painting now for the show that's coming that's happening tomorrow Unchained is, Melody yeah Unchained Cube. Melody is, uh, and the reason why it's called Unchained Melody because I've been LSS I've been it's last song syndrome in my head Unchained Melody and it makes sense in a in this in a way that uh, it's unchained like it's different 
yeah, I, I haven't seen the movie, but it's based on a. I mean, the, the song is from a movie, but yeah, yeah, just what I feel like. Uh, most of the time, with with the titles or with the with the imagery, it's just what feels right. Sometimes, like uh, some people say, like, "Oh, paint the dragon." If I have nothing else to paint, they say, oh, "Just paint the dragon." Like, why? Why? But uh, so I go through this process of thinking, thinking. That's why it's painting is easy. It's just the thinking that comes before. Or it, that's hard, and I, I just, it's not necessarily logical sometimes, but if it just makes sense for me personally, it makes sense, and it's easy to paint after that. No, so, I like that. Like, uh, for example, we're looking at some, uh, some of your works, yeah. right? And uh, let's go back. What was the name of that of the work? The one that was that you said that was a bar in Tacloban. Yeah, uh, was the, the title was. Uh, High school never ends. High school never yeah. ends. Okay, so you had a very specific story yeah, 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 yeah. for that yeah. piece of artwork. Yeah. Uh, I'll link to it in the show notes. Yeah. And then it was, yeah. Can you? Yeah. You uh, okay. So I was in the club band, and then I was painting. Then I felt tired of painting, so I felt the need to go out. So I, when I went out, uh, I was just bar hopping, and then I just settled for this uh, bar called the One. So I stayed there. And then I just started drawing, drawing, and then it's a weird thing. Yeah, people find it weird, but I just try to, I just do it. I, I give them drawings of, of I, I drew them, I draw groups of people, whatever, and I give them the drawing after. It's like kind of like a practice for me, and then they get artwork, so free artwork. So I was doing that, then I, ba- I made friends with people there, and then... After making friends with people there, like, uh, there's this one guy who said, Oh, I really appreciate your art. Uh, so he, asked, he started asking questions and we started talking. And then he goes like, Oh, you know that guy, that, that artista guy? I forgot his name, like, Mart Escob, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, Filipino <laughs> actor. I'm not into He's Filipinos. In, so his portrait is in the. Yeah, uh, his portrait. They just emphasize that he was there. So, uh, so he goes like he's famous, and then he's an actor. He's like okay, and then, and then uh, there's well, this Google one, image search. Yeah, one, Google like. image search. <laughs> uh, yeah, Google's my friend now with artworks. I mean, how I pr- do process, which is I need to actually not do because of copyright and stuff. So actually, I need to buy my own camera. But either way, uh, uh, really good camera. I mean, uh, so he goes like he's famous and all that, and then there's this girl there who is really tall, like. Uh, Mistisa Gamay and then curly hair so she really st- stood out and she was clearly flirting with the artista guy the Sikat guy so in my head it was what was going through my head you know I made friends in this place like new friends and then here's this seems like popular girl talking to a really serious uh, clearly popular guy artista so I, I had this idea like oh it's kind of like high school all over again so it's high school over all over again then the song kept playing in my head you know high school never ends regardless of what age you are life is in general kind of like high school people trying to trying to to get to popular other other popular people and then you who uh chica chica who's who's who uh, what they call that like discussing uh, gossip. gossip yeah <laughs> gossip in general and then yeah so and i'm the weird kid who's actually just observing everything so that i actually painted myself like this weird superhero flying yeah there yeah, was yeah. That, okay so yeah i was actually there flying like observing everything but yeah it's kind of like high school life. i'm the weird kid there's this popular it's cool though because like you yeah. had the scene you had the 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 scene of yeah. the, the drawing uh the painting yeah. and then it's the scene like you, the, the, the there's people there yeah but over the scene was like pieces of paper. Yeah, of like, yeah. Well, these are the these are the characters. Actually, yeah. And as if it was torn from a notebook. Yeah. And so, like, if you hear the story, and you look at the piece of artwork, yeah, it totally makes sense in yeah, yeah, so yeah. many yeah. levels. You yeah. even had like a, uh, the the the. The, that movie that was showing. What was oh it? yeah, uh, uh, yeah. The weirdly, the movie that was showing was uh, uh what was that? Tiger. Crouching, uh, Crouching Ti- Tiger, Hidden Dragon, yeah, there, and there. then there was an actress there that I kind of had a crush on that looked like my teacher, that looked like my teacher before, like teacher in math. And so it made more sense. Like, oh, <laughs> like there's this scene that, you know, that I feel like it's kind of like high school all over again. And then, you know, the TV was showing the, 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 the actress that kind of looked like my teacher. So it made sense. I added my teacher there. Like, but as Manila paper, you know, teachers with the Manila paper there. So the, oh, yeah. everybody else there had the blue and red 
notebook. Pa- notebook thing and then my teacher had the so it's kind of like yellow paper that's been cut up and pasted there so yeah it, it's crazy but it made sense for me and lingaw siya it was enjoyable I, I enjoyed painting that 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 painting so yeah yeah the, the, and that's and then when we were looking at so we were looking at the the painting so that's yeah. what struck me was mm. that wow like there's there's something there's you know yeah, it's a yeah. story. It's a story. And yeah. the other thing that I liked about the paintings, not although not all the paintings use this technique, but yeah, like, yeah. it you mentioned something like you wanted to get a camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it like you you and then I was telling you that so you in your Instagram you post your um in progress yeah. art and a bunch of it is just the background. You paint the background yeah. first and then after you paint the background, that's when you add the characters yeah. and add detail. Uh, at first, I thought it was just a photo. <laughs> okay. You know? Yeah. And then, and then it's something. It's something you said like uh, that you started doing lately. Yeah, I started doing it lately because uh, I have a tendency to overdo my paintings, add stuff, so it takes time. And then I I realize that it's easier to just paint the back. So te- this is technic the uh, technicality stuff already. So. Painting technique, so it's easier to really. Yeah, Ken's been actually there. just dude, just paint the background. So yeah, Ken's my actually unofficial mentor for painting. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like dude, just paint the background first, okay? Just so make things easy. So yeah, I I just recently doing did that so I could do my works faster and more efficient. I take photos of places I've been through that I feel like it's interesting, and then. Sometimes I already have a story for it, like katong that that bar, that place for high school never ends. So I after while that was all happening in my head, it's like, oh, this is amazing. I want to paint it, so I took a picture. And that's the picture I used for the. So you took a picture with your phone, the, I assume. Yeah, with the with the whole thing that's happening, katong that's the high school never ends. So I took a picture of the bar. So I painted most of the people at the bar, but the ones that stood out, that's when I put the. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. Wait, so, so question. So like. Yeah. The background of that photo was that the actual picture, or did you take the picture and then kind of like change to? Uh, I I took the actual picture and I just tried to copy it. So I, oh, I yeah, took yeah. the picture of the place. I copied the light, the place, everything. Then that's when I add oh, the okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, for that, I already had an idea of using the black and either blue and red paper but for other stuff it came later like I took a picture of a road because I was like going home and like oh this road looks interesting the lighting looks interesting so I took a picture of that then later on when I got home I didn't know what to do I just painted it for now I painted it then the idea came after like the I want to hold your hand uh, yeah, I had this idea where I for for two weeks I didn't know what to do with the painting, so I had the background. She just had the background. Yeah, I just had the background for two weeks, and then for the uh, very last week before, very last two three days before I go went back to I had to go back to Cebu. I had this idea of like Tom and Jerry, and all those people like chase all the that cartoon genre of chasing chasing. Yeah, so it's like Tom chasing Jerry, and then Road Runners. I mean. Coyote, while the coyote while the chasing coyote, yeah. roadrunner and they're like why can't they just be friends you know <laughs> so i had this idea of like them holding hands just enjoying so i had that road because of chasing and so i added that so that's the one of the paintings now there there's uh tweety bird and figaro oh i don't know Tweety. yeah Birds the the, the, the cat uh, just the bird and the cat and there's uh, tom and jerry there and there's a uh, bugs bunny and elmer it looks Fudd. like they're dancing yeah, they're dancing. So I was even not sure whether to call it I want to hold your hand or or why can't we be friends? But I just ended up with why I want to hold your hand. But yeah, it's still it's still the same. If I placed in why can't we be friends the song, why can't we be friends? Why can't we? so it's yeah, that's that's how I work most of the time. I have ideas and I just try to put them on on yeah, and then I already have background sometimes for it. So yeah. So you mentioned like the 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 painting is the easy part. Yeah, right? the painting is the easy part. It's it's the it's the, the idea idea behind it that, that takes take a lot of time. Yeah. Huh. So you're not like sitting on a lot of ideas right now. Uh, I do, I do actually, and then sometimes I I don't know how to do them. That's why they're not visualized yet, or I don't have sketches for them. But yeah, I do have a lot of like this. Actually, this is my first 
in a way podcast interview. Oh, yeah. So I'm actually tempted to paint it, but I don't know how yet. Oh, I don't know how yet. Know. So, so yeah. <laughs> It'd be cool to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> if then, ever. I mean, it's easy to just paint us with a table and maybe what you like. Yeah. But so I'm trying to, in my head now, visualize like, how would it be more different or how would it be more like, you know, personal? How would be more like, how would be more, it stands out more. So that's, that's, that's what's going on through my head now. So is, this, is that, does that happen like all the time? Yeah, sometimes it happens all the time. Like I'm, I'm just buying, I'm just buying milk or something, or for for my kid or whatever. And then I have that. I, but not, yeah, I, I think about a lot of stuff. But it just happens sometimes that like something really interesting, and I really want to paint it. So it it happens sometimes. Happens something. Yeah, it depends. It depends on the mood. But yeah. If I had a camera with me every single time, I would have just taken photo. I would have made a movie that's like twenty-seven year, a uh, twenty-nine years long. You know, but yeah. yeah. And, and then uh, I, one of the things so that I think that's clear in this interview, and we were, yeah. when we were talking a while yeah. ago, is that <laughs> so Kenichi's on your <laughs> Kenichi's like always, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, giving you his opinion, yeah, his yeah, advice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like. I mean, it sounds like that. He even shows up in a lot of the paintings. Yeah, yeah, he even shows up. So, yeah, because I, I paint people I know, especially people who are I'm close to, and I put their opinion, I give their, put their, how do I say it? They put their opinions high regard, give give high regard to oh, their, yeah. Yeah, 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 their opinions and all that, their thoughts. And, and since I've been painting life in general, my life in general, like, uh, so yeah, some characters pop up, like, Maybe in the future you keep popping up. I don't know. <laughs> like you know, because I even wanted to do a painting about shows in Cube. Like uh, my friend had a show that I tried to paint that. All the craziness that happened during the show. And since you some most of the time interview artists, you'd probably just keep popping up. With, oh okay. yeah, I then I'd paint. Yeah, so it it it. Whatever experience I have, I try to paint it. So yeah, that's that's how I work most of the time. So, what diba you mentioned uh, like that? So you had to go to Tacloban. Yeah, so you had to go this to Tacloban. Show coming up. Yeah. Is that gonna be your plan every time you have a show? I don't know. Hopefully not. But <laughs> yeah, but we'll see. We'll see if I get like if I if the show does well and I'm able to you know earn a bit for it from it. And maybe I might rent a studio, like a really tarong, like like, like an really art studio, like an mean, art yeah. studio. That will actually be better because me and Ken been talking. Like you know, I think it's better if we actually have a place to work. Because uh, me, I I work at home, and then sometimes my kid is there. Like I have to take care of my kid, and then it it. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. My kid is amazing. It's just that uh, sometimes. Can't, uh, yeah, I just can't work sometimes if I, cause it's I want, hard to focus. Yeah, it's hard to focus cause I want to give a hundred percent. So I don't want to go half, half ass on, on, on painting. I don't want to like take care of my kid, but my mind somewhere else. I really want to enjoy like the experience of like, you know, she's, she's spending time with me. I'm spending time with her. So uh, that's better. So it's, it's difficult. So I, I planning maybe next year to actually look for a place where I can actually paint and then maybe on, other days when I'm not painting, spend time with my kid, and yeah, yeah. You know, the they were able, they did something like that. Some of the like the Cebu artists did yeah. that. They have that asylum, the Busai. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then even before that, they just had that asylum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you been there? <laughs> no, no. Actually, I'm curious and wanting to be there, but it's busy because like uh, before this show. Uh, I was doing another show, and before that, I'm taking care of my kid, so I, I didn't have time to really hang out with those guys. So oh, yeah, but they, it's just a it's just a house. And yeah, then, it's just a house. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, it's nice because you know they're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And when they go out of their garage, you can yeah. see like it's just mountains. Yeah. No, because I live in Lashon, so that's like really, really far. That's oh probably the, like oh, yeah, the opposite, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really far opposite side. So it'd be fun if it's uh, it's kind of like an hour away. I mean, not, maybe less than uh, less than an hour away, but yeah, it's kind of like far. So. Well, you know, if you have a studio in Consolation, by yeah, or, uh, less chances of like 
being impulsively, you know, impulsively going yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I, I only paint at home. And I mean, home is home sometimes, but I get like uh, tired sometimes. So it's, if I have the studio, at least I can separate the house and then and I don't feel the need to keep going out or anything because I already have my studio and it feels like I'm going out there and then home. It's another way of relaxing as well, but I, it's it's difficult for me because I for now it's the it's the same thing. I don't yeah. I don't know if I'm explaining this. No, right, I get it. Yeah, like, yeah, I mentioned. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know if there was in this podcast, but like, like I was, I was telling you, uh, like I can work from home. Yeah, that's basically what I do. But yeah, but my my hack is yeah, I do all the all my work. In a very specific yeah, 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 yeah. table yeah. and chair, and then when mm. I'm sitting there, I'm basically working. Yeah. Even though, you know, yeah. it's in my home. Yeah. Like it could even like for a lot of people, you know, like yeah, for a lot of people, sometimes it's just the the the, the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, it's next just the door, bedroom next door. You yeah. know, but the uh, I think it's it's it, you just want it to be a place where. You're not doing leisure. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you sit there, you're working. Yeah. And when you want to do leisure, it's like a totally different, totally different yeah. area. Yeah. So you don't want to work in front of your TV, for example. Yeah, That sort yeah. of thing. No? Uh, yeah. I think... Na, na, <laughs> ako with the fact na, that... That... Uh, you that you're like basically easily distracted. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do easily get distracted, especially like uh, when when stuff happens and like when, when my kid and then uh, personal stuff happens. It's like oh, I can't. I can't focus on painting. Jude. So I, I have to have that separate place where if I had like if I have personal problem, I can't bring it to work. Uh-huh. Uh, but I can't do that because my work is that I work at home. So it's kind of like difficult to really focus sometimes. But yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. But yeah, p- later on, I hope that I have a place. I-, I save up for a place to actually just like focus work, work. Work is work. I want to go back to when you first became like a, a, a full-time artist. So you mentioned something about your thesis and that was your first show? Yeah, that was my first, that was my first show. How did that incube right away? In Cube right away because uh, uh yeah uh how did cube? that happen? Cause like usually I would assume that you know you need like a body of work. Uh uh that time well I think it's still happening now. Uh we we when we're graduating and doing the thesis for fine arts, we have uh, we have to have a show. So we do a proposal to what we have to have a show to graduate to have a thesis. So we do a proposal to whatever gallery there is. And then we have a show. Then we put it in the book that we had a show. So that's the requirement for graduating. Uh, it just so happened that Cube was looking for new talent, I guess. And and we knew I, one of my classmates during college who graduated ahead of me was already working there. So it just happened like, oh, okay, like we have a bunch of fresh uh, who are graduating and who are artists and they need a place to stay, a place to show their work. Uh, Why don't we? Yeah. So it was uh, lined up. So it was me first, then uh, my my other fellow thesis person and then another and another, another. So they called it the Bright Eyes series. Bright eyes because bright eyes like fresh or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I thought like bright eyes from the the musician. Bright eyes. Oh, I don't know. It's a good I, well, I, I know I'm really doing a music. bad bad job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, explaining all this like. Uh, no, man. Yeah, no, but, yeah, but, you know, because it was a while ago. Like, uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, Cube gave us the venue to show our solo show so we can you know graduate. It was a requirement. Uh, so yeah. And then. Wait, I, I, I got, I got uh, uh, the my whole bright eyes comment. I had actually a question. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, wait. but yeah, okay. No, because like, so I wonder if Cube still does that. I know, like sometimes the the there are other shows where like I notice some shows will be there's a lot of college kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a group show. Yeah, I I don't know if they still call it bright eyes though, because like. 
the thing is, I just focus on on when I I actually only interact with Q when I actually have a show. So most of the time, I'm busy like taking care of my kid and other stuff. The, so. so when your first show, yeah. So I assume it went well. Yeah, yeah, it did. It it did because uh, I did really big works. So it's a first that somebody was actually pushing for really big works, and it's fantasy. When you say big works, like uh, big canvas, like- big canvas. It was uh, the biggest, most yeah, it was eight, uh, four feet by eight feet. So four feet high, eight feet wide. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, and then I. It was interesting because I was doing Friends, which nobody really saw before. My my the title of the show was a uh, what was the title of the show? <laughs> I forgot. Ah, uh, imaginary friends. Yeah, yeah, imaginary friends. So I was painting my friends and cr- making characters for them. So it was it was I guess refreshing then to see like oh fantasy artist doing about doing characters based on his friends and experience and so it was refreshing for people so after that show so it did well, so it did, well. Yeah. did you think right away I'm like, hey I can yeah I yeah. can do this I can do this I, I thought about that I was like oh I paint for two days and I earn uh, <laughs> oh, so really? I earn... two days <laughs> <laughs> no 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 no, no. no was, was, yeah 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 but I mean like some parts for two days but I mean it's like oh it's easy Monday I, like I just just paint I just paint but the prob- I mean it's easy for you like you should we shouldn't discount the fact that basically according to your mom ever since you've been two, you're yeah, two years yeah, old yeah, 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 yeah. you've been uh, so, at it so, but yeah, the only dif- I mean, painting was easy. The only difficult part is what to do, what to paint. Because uh, I paint back then really emotionally. So if I feel something strong, that's when I paint. But now I'm trying to learn, like, regardless of what I feel, uh, work is work. So yeah, but back then, yeah, I just painted like, you know, and then I realized, yeah, well, like what you said, like, oh, if I paint, if I'm just honest with my work, paint what I see and maybe comment about it through the distortion which is distorting the friend like uh i i see my friend talking and then i add my comments visually through the the visual manipulation of his personality through yeah because you don't yeah. draw you're like with going back to kenichi yeah. kenichi has there's a character he yeah, is a character, a character he, yeah. you know it's him yeah but I didn't know it was him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like um, me pers- like I know cuz uh sometimes I I'm not saying I believe in it but it's sometimes it's weird it it comes true sometimes or coincidentally like we I I ask people the zodiac signs. Oh uh, yeah, you do? Yeah, like uh they're they're I mean, I'm not believing in it, but sometimes it, it makes sense. It informs the art. It informs the art sometimes and then it it's not just based on that, it's a lot of things so maybe he's the interested in uh, interested in robotics like so I paint the person as a robot so uh, I mean like yeah whatever whatever flow uh, with the zodiac sign thing but yeah the zodiac sign like um, so for example there was this funny thing where uh, Bea another friend was saying that you know they, there's this thing where you combine the 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 your Chinese zodiac and the the Western Zodiac, okay. and then you have an animal. It's like, okay, okay. And then my friend, well, you know, Kenichi, yeah. is his uh, hippo. So it's like, okay, that makes sense. Uh, that- <laughs> <laughs> so all I need to do is just circles and round. Okay, that's it. I mean, you get it, okay? Yeah. So, so hippo, so how can I do that? So I had this idea, like, he plays Mario. I mean, he plays video games in general, and then, like, he grew up here with, with Mario and all that. So there, uh, Yoshi had this interesting, the, 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 the dinosaur. Yoshi, the dinosaur, yeah, yeah. The, the dinosaur this interesting like circles and round and it kind of looks like a hippo for me so I combined the that that aesthetic of circles and he does a lot of circles in his art like yeah, Odie art, the, the, the Odie of, yeah, yeah. that's so, basically his character yeah that's his character so instead of just yeah so that's how I came out so it's a hippo and then it it just felt right and I knowing Ken's personality and knowing his artwork, I combine try to combine all that together and I formed his 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 character which is the 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 yeah that circled nose and all that <laughs> so <laughs> just, yeah <laughs> if it just makes sense You're like, yeah it makes sense <laughs> yeah it makes sense it makes sense like yeah but it's it's difficult sometimes because I might come across as judging 
so yeah, there's a fine line there where you know, are, you're being, you're just being, uh, you're being funny and at the same, but there's a fine line there where you're being judging. So I, I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to, you know, go, go towards that you know, judging mentality where you judge a person. So it's just like I'm trying to keep it, you know, simple but interesting, like with the person I'm painting and. I don't know how this way. No, that's interesting yeah, because yeah. I never thought of it as. I mean, obviously, as you said it. Yeah, yeah. Because you are making a judgment yeah, yeah. as to I how am, to portray do. this yeah, person. Yeah, so in in your art, but I didn't think of it as judging. Yeah. Huh. But no, I just think ahead sometimes. Like I overthink. I have a tendency to overthink, but sometimes it it comes true in the future. No, but also so, you don't want, like if this is a person that you like, you yeah. also don't want to to portray them in a negative manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in a negative manner. But if I do portray, it's more of the situation the person is in, but I'm not going to specify exactly what, but it, it the the visual imagery emanates that sometimes. So it's it, it's a fine line where I need to that I'm, you know, doing a balancing act that I don't offend at the same time. It's, it's different at, and it's not offending. It's not, it doesn't offend no, anybody else. You don't else, tell but them yeah. Said everybody. Yeah, I don't tell everybody like, <laughs> oh, this is like that. Only the people like, let you, you know, Kenichi is obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say uh, that's Ken, but yeah, I don't, yeah. I mean, I'm sure Kenichi knows that's him. Yeah, like, yeah, obviously. Kenichi knows that's him. Like, I'm yeah. sure you've told <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, but like, for example, like, you know, if you drew this person, yeah, and you don't, you're not sure if they would be happy that, yeah, that, so you just that's don't why tell. Either I don't tell or I don't paint it. So that's why it takes uh, time for me. It takes time for me to do the 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 painting because I mean it's easier when I already have an idea, but it takes time sometimes. Like there's a situation where I have a where I was drinking, and then there's this interesting person that I'm talking to, and then shares a lot of stuff. So. Now, after that, days after, I'm trying to paint that situation. Should I add this? Should I add that? Would the person be offended? We just met. So I, it's, it's a complicated thing where I have to really think about it before I start the painting process. So I, sometimes I end up not doing it or sometimes I end up doing it but really hiding it because I don't know how the person going to react. But if I really do know the person, sometimes I'm just like open and putting that in and they appreciate it. But yeah, I'm I'm still like, Doing a balancing act, but not don't you think offend. that hinders the process, though? Uh, no, uh, it does. It hinders. At the same time, I'm trying to be more specific because, like, it could be like, like it could be too broad that it's not the person Jud at all. It's not the person, so I'm trying to be specific in the sense that when when the person sees it, they know it's them. Or, but it's yeah, different. no. But what I'm saying uh, is, uh, like, you're basically editing out the. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, oh, this yeah. is a scene that you want to draw. Yeah. And then, but then you're scared you're going to hurt that person's feelings. Yeah, yeah. Basically, that's what that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then, but what happens is, you know, there's there's an argument to be made yeah, yeah, yeah. to just let it flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do sometimes. Just let, so it's, it's it's a lot of things. Sometimes I let it flow. Sometimes I don't do it. So there's actually a lot of paintings that I wanted on ta- to show, but I, it's not there. So maybe in the future when I actually polished it more. Mm. So it also goes goes to the technical side or whether it's polished enough. Oh, or okay, not. So okay. even though I have, even though sometimes it's like. You're, I'm not sure whether this person really fits this, but it's fine. It's fine because it's not something offending. It's not offending. It's not offensive. But I don't know how to show it. I don't know how to show it. So it takes time for me to actually know, uh, like, uh, yeah, how, how to do it. it. Yeah. In general, it's the process is really crazy in my head. So, so I ended up doing something more simple lang sa, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, lingaoko because yeah. I usually don't get to talk uh, too much in depth with the process, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Because mm. uh, I don't know, it's it's just it's kind of easy to talk about it because you're really basing it off 
Yeah, yeah. A very specific scene yeah. that's happened to you. Yeah. No? And it makes it, especially upon hearing your your explanation of it, it yeah. makes it very relatable all of a sudden. Ba? Yeah. Na, like one of my fears if I go to an art show. Yeah. Is I'm looking at the I'm looking at the painting, okay, and then I I have to say something, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. and then or sometimes I'll be like, oh, so what's this about? And then the yeah. artist will speak, and then you just don't understand, yeah, you know, and uh, I didn't obviously I did not get that sense when we yeah. were doing it, camera, you know, it's like. It's like I saw you in a coffee shop and you're like, hey, bye, this is what happened to me yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But instead of doing that, you just showed me a painting. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a conversation, basically. It's a it's a conversation I'm having with the audience. Uh, I see my paintings as a conversation and I try to, yeah, well, maybe not spoon feed, but at the same time, like, balance of, like, you're showing your own ideas, but at the same time, it's... It's still relatable, gamay, because uh, it's uh, like with with fantasy. I I find it annoying sometimes that they put a lot of stuff there. Well, I do put a lot of stuff, but uh, yeah. How do I explain? It? Like a uh, uh, something that stands out and out of the norm. That's why I'm using like doing the normal background, like just a setting that I see to ground the painting. To like say like yo, this is a place I've been. This is not something that's completely you know fictional. And then with the characters, I still add a bit of you know reality where they're still grounded. They're not completely flying. But if if their personality seems like they're flying, like they have this you know up in the air, and then I put that. So yeah, like I I, I like how you said it. It's like a conversation instead of actually having that conversation. I actually show. I just show you a painting. Yeah, is there yeah. a is there a temptation to explain every painting? Uh, is that good or bad? Ex- both, I guess. Sometimes it's good that I have a converse- conversation with another person and end up painting that as well. Uh, or, no, but like uh, for example, there is a way to do it, nga. You have a description beside the painting. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I don't know if that would be a good thing. It depends, I guess, because sometimes it's more interesting to be ex- if if you explain it, and because there are just other people who have a different language. I'm not saying it's it's they don't understand. It's just they have a different way of saying things. So, and I have my specific way of saying things. So we we still have that. Con- the bridge to connect like like certain words that the person uses is different from my own even though we're talking about the same thing so so sometimes it's good to explain but sometimes it's good to not explain because sometimes they get it already and then if you give too much then mawagtang ang magic or something so it, it, it's a balance it, I can't really say that there's a sure thing that whether explaining something or not explaining something will yeah so it, it's a balanced thing I guess if that makes sense, I'm not sure if I'm making sense. I'm blabbing now. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I that's why I just paint. Okay, like when I talk about it, it doesn't make sense. So I just paint. Like oh, okay, that makes more sense. Like I like we had this situation sometimes. Like I told Ken, 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 I have a really good idea that I tell him about. Like I paint this, I paint that. By just painted by because I don't understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> and when I actually do paint it, like ah, okay, okay, now I get it, now I get it. So yeah. Painting actually helps me explain stuff nowadays. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, like you mentioned something like, um, katong, it's weird nga, you're, you're actually, you, you mentioned like you're, you're, kind, you're actually extroverted, but, yeah, but at the but same because, time, I like social interaction, so it's, it's a dual thing, I think, because, uh, I get energy. Talking to people, and mm. then we, I discussed it with Ken that the difference with extroverts and introverts, introverts have, you know, need to really be alone to regain back their like energy thing. And then I, uh, I guess I'm both, I guess, because like I, I, I need people to enter. Like I've been telling Ken, Ken, I think, uh, we just get the studio kitarang dua because sometimes me painting alone, I would just go nowhere. Uh, sometimes I need somebody to, to just, you know, have a conversation with to actually get me 
to know what to do a painter if i'm yeah and then uh and sometimes i need to be alone to just vent to because i i you need to be alone to actually do the work do the work yeah i guess that's that makes more sense so i'm i'm alone to do the work but to get ideas i need a person where i can bounce ideas off, no, but of, yeah it's kind of going back to when we started this interview uh the things that are at the same time distracting you from doing the yeah, work yeah, is yeah. where you are getting yeah, the inspiration yeah, to yeah. do the... So yeah. there has to be this like this middle ground. Middle ground. Like, yeah. uh, you have to know when it sounds like I'm not telling yeah, you Yeah, no, it do. is actually. Yeah, it is, <laughs> uh, yeah. But it seems like you have to know when to when to like gather your... This is like inspiration phase yeah, which yeah. is basically meet other people, yeah, go yeah. out and then the phase where you have all those ideas now. Yeah. Then you just need to sit down and do it. Yeah. No? Yep, 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 yep. It That's sounds uh, like it. I, gonna, I, I told you that I need a camera. For now, I'm using my the, just the phone. So I go out, take pictures, and uh, then when I go home, I paint. I Which ones are look good, which ones are uh, And then... Uh, after painting the back, after painting the background based on the pictures of going out, the people I, I talked to while I was going out, I tried to okay, which ones fit which background or Anna. So yeah, 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 it's just yeah, like what you said, the going out then going back. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, interacting, and then when I go go home, I just me, just when I you can so, even look through the pictures, yeah, but yeah, see, yeah, yeah. and then uh, oh yeah, this happened, yeah, Anna. yeah, yeah, well. Wait, we've been talking for about an hour. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so usually that's when I, uh, you know. Yeah. Is there anything you want to add? Uh, a lot, but it's just like a lot that it just becomes, I don't know anymore. So <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So it's kind of like everything's there, but at the same, it's kind of like you have a lot of colors and it just blends together. So you just have white. So you don't know what it is anywhere. So but yeah, I'm rab- I'm babbling now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> I, uh, if anyone wants to go to the show, you know, I know everybody has plans tomorrow on Halloween. It's weird why they made it Halloween though, because everybody has plans for Halloween. Why would they? But it's fine. So uh, check out the show tomorrow. Yeah, I'll make sure this will be out. Uh... Maybe next week, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Thanks. Oh, where can people find you online? Uh, Instagram, Instagram, more active Instagram than Facebook. So Bard, the Bard of Boredom. All right. I will make sure to link to that in the show notes. Awesome. Thanks, Bray. Good, uh, good talking. Yeah. My mind is weird, so it's fine. (laughs) (laughs) It just goes ups and down. Uh, Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Thank you so much for inviting me though. I want to say that. uh, Thank you so much for, for inviting me in the, this thing. Yeah, I'll I'll just shut it (laughs) down. started when I first started interviewing gallery artists I'll tell you the truth I was intimidated I thought it would be really 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 difficult because I do not know anything about art and I'm still intimidated it's still hard <laughs> but I'm having a really good time doing it and uh, yeah it's this world that I didn't think would be available to me but uh, it is so one of these days, I hope to hang out with Tom and Kenichi, maybe have a few beers, likely just one beer for me, honestly. And uh, it'd be cool to just hang out with them. I thought it would be, it'd be fun. So thank you, Cube Gallery and A-Space for sponsoring the podcast. Again, if you want to support the podcast, order from the Assembly Online, use the promo code CONVERSATIONS for 20% off your 032 merchandise. The music from this podcast is Piano March by Audia Nautics. And uh, if you want to monetarily support the podcast on a monthly basis, consider heading over to patreon.com slash 032 and uh, you get exclusive content and even exclusive merchandise. Free exclusive merchandise. But, but if you can't shell out any cash if you don't want to buy anything from the assembly online or head over to patreon simply share this episode online share this episode on social media that helps us get more listeners and allows us to do the show even more 
I really hope this show is helpful to people. Because, I mean, it's helpful to me. I enjoy doing it. Okay. See you next Tuesday. Bye.